So this is a, a very nice little, I would call it a nibble, something that you hand around to all your guests. Maybe you've got some cocktail sticks. It's slices of salmon. It's called marinated salmon with passion fruit, lime, chili and coriander. And I came up with the dish a few years ago at uh, New Year's Eve in Sydney for my wife Sass and her friends party, dinner party, but I just thought it'd be nice to do something that in a way reflected Australian flavours with the passion fruit. It isn't like a ceviche and it's not like a sashimi, it's sort of part raw, so it's got lime juice in it, the passion fruit's got a bit of acidity in there too, so they're partially cooked in acidity. First of all I've got a nice big fillet of salmon from the loin, not going to use it all, but what I'm going to do now is just take the skin off, see? And the, the easiest way to do that is if you've got a long knife like this, it's a bit tricky, but you can get your fishmonger to do it, is just to go and cut the knife against the skin like that. That's fine. Right, now what I'm going to do is slice the salmon quite thinly like that. And as I said, you can get a fishmonger to do this for you, but it's quite a nice thing to do yourself. It's not super thin, quite thin is what I would say. Then what I'm going to do is just put all these slices on this plate and I'm just going to sort of butt them up a little bit like that. And the reason I'm not sort of overlapping them too much is I want the marinade with the necessary lime juice to actually cover as much as the fish as possible. I'm just going to pop that in the fridge, just turn that over. Now then to chop a few veg, first of all in my bowl goes some passion fruit. When I started making this dish I used to take the seeds out of the passion fruit and I discovered that actually leaving the se seeds in to the marinade gives it a bit more interest. The passion fruit is the sort of essential ingredient I think because it's got this lovely, as I'm sure you know, lovely sort of fragrant scented flavour and taste. Now for a bit of lime juice. And this is actually what does most of the um, the cooking in the citrus juice. So the juice of a small lime is what's needed. Good. Now a chilli. Now if you, it does need, I do like having a chilli in there, but if you're a bit nervous about the heat of things, take the seeds out because that will take most of the, um, most of the heat out. But in, I just have tasted these chillies and not particularly hot. So I'm just going to leave the seeds in, just chop them up a bit finely. In my bowl goes that. And next, coriander. Chop this a bit, a bit finely. You can make everything a little bit beforehand, except don't add the coriander till the last minute because otherwise it will just wilt and lose its sort of pungency. The next ingredient that goes there is about half a teaspoon of sugar and then a similar amount of nam pla fish sauce, about half a teaspoon, and some sunflower oil. That just makes the marinade a bit richer. And um, finally some salt, just a little bit of salt. Mix that together. That you can make up some hours beforehand, but don't add the coriander till just before you're going to put it on the fish. So in goes the coriander. Stirry, stirry, stirry. Now finally, as I always do, just a, whenever I'm making a sauce, just a little bit of a taste. That's good. So now we're ready to go. This is important. You don't want to put this on for too long, but you do want to put it on for a while, just so that the effect of the lime juice and the passion fruit starts to dig into the fish. So I would say about 20 minutes before serving, you put this on. There we go. And what happens now is the citric acid in the lime juice, and there's a little bit of citric acid in the passion fruit, will start to work the protein in the salmon and cook it. So now we just pop that back in the fridge and take it out in about 10 minutes time. Well, that looks really nice, I think you'll agree. And you can see that the lime juice has done its work and it, it looks partially cooked. It looks like a bit of rare salmon, which indeed it is. It's just so delicious.